killing flows, getting dope on the low. Never sold my soul, and I get it on my own. I be killing shows, getting dope on the low, and I'm in control. Y'all can never tell me no. Yeah. Arr, matey. Welcome to. All right, I tried to do a prior accent, it didn't work. Welcome to. Three degrees, Virgo, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Peace Dealer. You're gonna see me try on different accents. Don't mind me. Um, third degree, first decan, I believe. The third degree is uh, tied to Jupiter and it's all about coming into expansive meaning to later uh, aid your thoughts come five degrees, which is attached to Mercury. So it's not a coincidence that uh, at the third degree of I believe relative to Virgo. So we're coming into belief of how we can synthesize the facts we have currently. Um, the moon's in Sagittarius, which is ruled by Jupiter. So we are on our first quarter square, ladies and gentlemen. First quarter squares are meant to frustrate the processing of your perception. When, whenever we do quarter squares and mutable signs, of uh, mutable sign cycles are meant to change your perception through first quarter square, full moon, third quarter square, and the new moon, so that you can adjust your perception like a camera focuses, loses focus, and then comes back into focus. So this first quarter square is kind of like the camera, how y'all doing, uh, kind of coming out of focus so that in Sagittarius, it can see much clearer. And because this is gonna be squaring Virgo, um, a whole lot of the meaning, all right, because Virgo is a critic. And so what critics do is that they reveal the hidden meaning of what they're critiquing so that you can gain a more critical understanding of a piece or of, you know, an experience. And concerning that, the hidden meaning that's getting ready to be revealed is barring off of the wisdom that was exposed the couple days prior. Moon in Scorpio uh, intuits the dark and then the moon in Sag shows what was hidden in the dark. So you're going to come into, relative to your experience, revealed meaning that's supposed to, in hindsight, change the details. So let's say you're going through Virgo season, you're analyzing the details, and now Moon and Sag is going to reveal, hey, here's what this means, so that you can change how you see the facts. It's first change. Mercury is in the second decan now, and it's trining Uranus and Taurus. It's also King Kunx and Chiron and Aries. This is now going to hijack your mind with epiphanies to innovate how you're critically analyzing the details around you, great breakthroughs for cash, for manifestation, and for really, what's the word? Highly innovating the efficiency of your routine that you'll be developing. This is also set to now manifest the neural pathways you've built since May-ish to now be manifested in a more advanced way to live your lifestyle. And a lot of this will be subtle. It's not like you'll be like, I'm advanced about neural pathways. You'll just notice that you do things quicker, um, you do things more efficiently, you find smarter ways to do things. And this is really meant to also kind of challenge how you can break through any inhibitions, expressing more of your raw ideas. But with this fourth house aspect to Virgo, you're gonna be uncovering a lot of hidden meaning that is meant to change your thinking around what you see as fact. Other than that, stay groovy as always, and until tomorrow.